welcome back to the virtual speed performance youtube channel today we're we'll working on the old camaro we're gonna take the rest of we're gonna take the rest out of the four out of the camaro and we are gonna take the front suspension off we're in a purple power we're gonna clean the chassis it's it's nice to see it like this because it looks looks like a race car you know what i mean and I remember three months ago, or two months ago, feels like, feels like years ago, but I was watching my old videos and it's hard to believe it was like two months ago, they brought it home and it looked, it looked, it looked pretty daggum rough. But now, now she looks minty. This is a good, I, I like this angle of it. Take out. All that floor over there, the rest of the firewall. Originally, we were, we were gonna take out the firewall, but we're like, well, let's do it. Let's do it nice, and have some real attention to detail with it. So, we're gonna take out the firewall, do it right, clean up all them tubes, stuff like that. Recording. Re hey, do that again, man. Seriously? Yeah, it wasn't recording. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> that is true. All right, so we have it on the old. Engine hoist, or some people call that a really. Some people call that a cherry picker. I call it an engine hoist. I don't understand why people call it a cherry picker. But we got it up on the engine hoist, and can you imagine if it did, if if it left like that? Yeah. The silly thing is, at this point, now that we have it in the air like that, I'm not real sure at the point what the point of it is now. <laughs> just to put it up in the air like that. Because <laughs> I really feel like it could just. Spray it and use that thing on the tubes. Yeah. Hmm. We'll let we'll, we'll let some of the passing by neighbors be like, the oh, fuck are those guys doing? doing? <laughs> Take the rear clip here, what you see on screen, and paint it. I like that idea. Don't let it be on May 4th though. All the Star Wars people are gonna be all freaking out. Yeah, I don't know. May the 4th be with you and paint that, man. Yeah. Yoda or something. I'll close my eyes and use the force. Yoda. We're not really not a big Star Wars person. Or any of those. Well, I always like that movie Hardware Wars. What? Hardware Wars. What's it? What is it's that? It's a spoof. If you've never seen it, or look it up. Do they work at like a hardware store and they... No, it just has like irons flying through space. And... Irons? What, like a, like a flying pan? Like a frying pan? Yeah, a flying pan. <laughs> All right, so we're taking this suspension off. First, we're gonna take off the top, the wheels. We need to get this hammer in that in the thing. <laughs> uh, I got our Dollar General Jack, and our plan is to take off suspension off, and then wheel it in and out on this, the chassis in and out on this dolly. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but hopefully pretty well. If not, it should be light enough to just pick it up and move it in all the sockets my son law We got here's the two wheels and we took the rack and pinion off obviously there's no a-arms anymore spindles brakes what have you i'm sure a lot of people are like oh why aren't you powder coating well to be honest if you want to add bars it's easier to scuff a little paint off and then when the mustang was new i said that too when it came to our shop i'm like I guess you didn't powder coat it and the chassis guy was like joe peters was like if you add something subtract something you can just paint it real quick right if you subtract something and add something you've ruined the powder coat yeah and with these cars you're adding bars updating the chassis adding brackets this that cutting things off so it makes sense yep 
aerosol cans or spray paint, you can just get and spot it in real quick. Well, there's our apparatus. I think it'll work. It'll work. Maybe. So currently, I have the front end almost complete. There's some stuff to do back there. Um, and obviously where the firewall is, I figured I'd start from the firewall forward and then I would move back in to the driver's compartment sand uh sand the x bars the bottom bars the funny car cage stuff like that and then when we're done with there uh take off the deck lid and sand back here also those bars So I got most of the inside sanded. I got, I still gotta do the stuff on the funny car cage. And I did get up in there. And you got most of the firewall. And up here, the, uh, from the firewall forward, I got all that. I'm, I'm sure there's still some nooks and crannies that I'm gonna get with just the uh, sandpaper itself. And uh, as for me, I look like Cole Trickle just dropped the hammer and Daytona on turn two. So uh, I can't wait to take a shower. I've been at it since uh, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And it's about 4.30, five o'clock right now. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to knock it out. You know, my dad got, the, my dad took all week to uh, get the, um, he took the entire week off and to, to get all the body work done in the prime and the body in prime and that motivated me i'm like damn i gotta i i gotta get in there and you know do my part so i would say after i get done with the funny car cage take the back glass out and uh, get the tubes in the back where the tubs are and stuff like that and then drop the rear end sand and paint that sand and paint all the stuff in the back of the car date this thing in July. End of July. Yeah, right in the middle of it being hot. Yep. On this time of the year, July and August. Gonna go work out the bugs in a new car. Exciting. Exciting. May will take Mustang out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's funny is I was thinking of like, am I gonna wear the same fire suit? Well, I guess it's the same, you know, funny layer. Because I wear the Mustang, I have to wear a um, I have to wear a 20 or SFI 20 fire suit because of the exposed transmission. And in this, because it doesn't technically have an exposed transmission, even though really that that thin piece of metal makes no difference whatsoever. 30,000 aluminum ain't saving nothing. I don't need an, I, I don't need a 20 layer suit. I can get away with like a five or a five, SFI five or 10 or whatever uh, they have. But, uh. Because the five of tens of YouTube tech inspectors out there, the 30,000 aluminum wood keep transfer with that puppy, which is extremely flammable. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, if the flywheel can't part, there ain't that. Oh, yeah, thank you. Flywheel. No. But, that, but trans fluid, yes. That is why the Pro Mod roll now is training has to be covered. Because it keeps the fluid off the man. All right. I've learned that the hard way. I've had my parents' grass on fire pushing a car back, leaking tranny fluid while it was running, 
the grass on fire, thinking I was trying to get away from the fire, but the fire was following me. Yeah. True story. <laughs> I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out virtualspeedperformance.com for your new and used parts. Thank you.